So here we are at one of our new plantings, what we're calling the Orchard of the Future Blocks. We made a series of videos on how we formed the berms that these trees are planted on, showed a little bit of planting and that sort of thing. I wanted to give you an update and show you what the trees are, are looking like now. I've posted a couple of vids showing some of, uh, some of the trees that are having trouble. I thought, oh geez, I should post uh, what these orchard trees look like now. And uh, they're looking great. Really looking good. So we're gonna, I'm gonna hop down and talk about these a little bit. And um, we'll go from there. So these are crimp six rootstock trees that are growing as trees and um, our plan is to come in here in about a month from now and we're going to bud these over to the variety, to the scion that, um, that we're going to put on. So what we're doing with this tree is we're just trying to maximize uh, the growth of the tree and in particular we're focusing on the roots because the bud that we're going to put on here in towards the end of August, that bud is going to lie there dormant until this coming spring. And in the spring when these trees push, we're going to uh, prune them back very heavily and put all the energy of the tree into that one bud and growing that one bud. And so the better the root system that we have here, the more energy and the better growth we're going to get on these trees. Um, and the focus is we want to maximize the growth of that bud because we want to fill the space between our trees uh, as fast as we can. And I've set the goal of filling the space in the first year. And that's a, that's a, that's a high bar to reach, but I think that we can do it if we have these trees grown really well. So um, I'm really pleased with how these trees are, are growing. We had a, a central leader. Uh, these were individual little sticks. Uh, they were about the size of this, this small branch here, what we planted. And now you can see the growth, um, very, very astounding growth that we've got here. Um, we've been pouring on the nutrition uh, to these trees, primarily advancing eco-agriculture products. Um, we've been fertigating them through drip, we've been fertigating them through micros, and then also we've apl been applying foliar sprays. And uh, our weekly sap analysis data control what we put on, and I meet with the, our consultant from Advancing Eco Agriculture weekly and talk about what to do for each of these trees, and the results are, are really amazing. The thing that I've that I find um, uh, is a good indicator of how vigorous these trees are is um, again this these were single whips that we planted. They've grown these offshoots here, um, these offshoot leaders or branches. But then see if I can get a little bit better camera angle here. So they've grown these offshoots here. But then if you look this shoot that I have here it's actually putting out selectics. So it's putting out, one year old wood is actually putting out branches on itself and that takes a great deal of energy to do. Um, oftentimes we see that just the main shoot will form and we don't have any of these little side shoots which are called selectics uh, being developed. So we're really pleased with how these are growing and uh, we hope to continue to push them for the next month and um, I'll keep you guys updated.